What's going on guys, Rabe here, and today we're taking a look at Mega Bloks Call of Duty Hoverbike Raid. This is another advanced warfare set from uh, Mega Bloks Call of Duty series. And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty kicking hoverbike, and he is off to raid something somewhere. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it looks pretty cool on the outset. I've never played Advanced Warfare, but I, I do appreciate these futuristic military uh, vehicles and weapons and things like that. You can see uh, the guy here, we'll just flip it around the back, the guy here has an exosuit, uh, so you can see five authentic accessories, um, and of course the bike itself uh, showing off the rear of the bike. Looks a little bit like a, uh, like a wasp or some kind of insect, so uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, of course from another angle, showing you the, you know, the little, uh, you know, repelling thingies to make it hover. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to go ahead, uh, crack this guy open, and uh, check out what's inside. All right, so inside the box, once we get it open, and it still annoys the heck out of me that these Call of Duty boxes are all uh, glued shut, so you have to just kind of destroy them to get it open, or cut them, which doesn't really, isn't any kind of thing, but... Uh, inside we just get looks like four bags here. Yeah, four little bags of pieces nice printed pieces Which is one of my favorite parts about these Call of Duty sets uh, We get some nice trans blue bits here uh, The instructions and of course our micro action figure with the exosuit already attached which is helpful because that thing is Little, uh, little weird, tiny little bits that I'm afraid to break. So, yeah, it looks simple enough. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy together, and we will check it out in just a moment. All right, guys, so here we have the Hoverbike Raid. And uh, like we always do, we're going to take a look at the micro action figure first. And uh, it's another really cool one. You get a nice little soldier here, uh, and he's got the... Um, the power armor, <laughs> or whatever it is, the exos, the exoskeleton, uh, with the power pack here on the back, powering his uh, his limbs and things like that. And of course, these are they're glossy black, but they're actually uh, really soft, rubbery plastic, uh, with the exception of these little um, forearm bits. And those are like a harder plastic, so you want to be a little bit careful with those. But they are they're jointed, so you do get full range of motion with this figure even with the exosuit on, which is awesome. And of course, it's got the uh, the ball-jointed head with the nice metallic paint over the uh, over the visor. Oh, he's got a nice little vest, no insignia on it or anything like that. Nice little uh, pistol. And uh, of course, you know, turns at the waist and the legs again. Um, these are the soft rubbery plastic again. They act as kind of the belt. They go, you know, in the spot where his belt goes normally. And uh, th these figures do have little tabs on the knees right here where these just attach right onto, like so. So, very, very cool. I think it was a great job uh, Megablox did of designing these figures. Uh, I think they look spectacular. They work. They function great. And, uh, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with these. So, very, very cool. And, of course, the hoverbike. Uh, and I'm going to say right off the bat, the hoverbike here is, I think, going to be my new uh, mongoose. Uh, the little mongoose set, I have, like, four of them. Uh, I just really, really enjoy them. I like having just a little, just a pile of them. <laughs> you know, a little, just a little battalion of, of these little mongoose guys driving around and that's not including the gun goose i have the gun goose like le leading them um but i think these guys it's going to be my next like have to buy it whenever i see it set uh or whenever i have ten dollars to spare set uh these videos keep me pretty pretty busy and pretty broke so uh but as you can see uh it's a it's a lovely little hover bike i really really love this design um <clears throat> the bottom here is one whole like prefab piece, uh, which I could do without, but I, I understand their kind of desire to, you know, really streamline the set. And it might have been difficult to, you know, make this out of individual bricks as well as, you know, bumping up the uh, the piece not account, which may have bumped up the price. So I, I get it. Um, in order to stay within budget, you know, they had to kind of make this one solid piece and it's it's fine. 
I'm just not a fan of these like big prefab kind of pieces, but I am a big fan of these, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I'd call them repulsors, but like little, you know, just little hover, hover panels, I guess, would be the thing. They're adjustable, you can kind of like move them around to however you like. Uh, you can put them straight down for when you want this thing uh, to be kind of on the ground, something like that. And then of course, you know, put them up to keep this guy in the air and moving forward. And of course, you know, you have like that. <laughs> That's exactly how it is. And it makes those sounds as well. Uh, you do get a little control panel in the back here. Nice printed control panel. Uh, lovely little cushy seat <laughs> for your uh, for your rider. And I like these little aerofoils on the sides here. I'm not sure entirely what they're for. If they're like shields or if they're, you know, kind of uh, guidance or braking or, or whatever. But I do like the design. I think they're pretty cool. And it's just cool to have them like flared out or, you know, kind of in like so. Either way, like this thing looks really, really sweet. You've got a little gun on the front here. Uh, it's just tacked on, doesn't really do anything. And then you've got these little winglets uh, that can be adjusted up or down, kind of depending on how you want to uh, how you want to do that. So, just grab your dude, stick him over here. Just sit him on on the bike here. Stick his hand on there, and now he can uh, fly this thing. You can put the gun somewhere else and have him fly it on. But yeah, I really, really like this little set. I think it's fantastic. Absolutely a great, uh, great little ten dollar set. Um, super quick build. Really nothing too terribly complicated. Um, if I had any gripes about it, I would say aside from the prefab piece, which this is a really minor complaint. The only other minor complaint is I wish there were the, the instructions were printed a little more clearly uh, because I did have an instance where there's a lot of pieces that are the same piece but different colors, but they're all so dark that you know when you're when you're looking at the instructions, you can't always tell which piece is which. So uh, I ended up using a couple of the wrong colored pieces earlier on that I ended up having to pull out later. So you know, just a little little tweak to the colors and the instructions I think would do well. But uh, otherwise, I, I just love this set. I love the way these catch the light and, uh, you know, look a little like they're glowing. Um, it helps that, you know, I have ridiculous bright white lights going on for, for these videos. But even still, just in, like in my living room or wherever, uh, I think they, they pick up the light really well. And uh, overall, I'm just super, super pleased with this set. Um, I just can't, I can't kind of say enough that, uh, you know, it's awesome. I want more of these. I want more. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, if that's not enough for you, I don't know what else to say. But that is going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It really, really does help me out. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I will hopefully will have more Mega Blocks coming up for you guys real soon. So keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, thank you guys once again for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>